Grace and peace be with you. Hi, my name is Mark. I'm the pastor at Sycamore Creek in Potterville. I have a brief thought for you today. It comes also from Proverbs. I'm looking at Proverbs chapter 17, verses 9 through 16. And in this section of Proverbs, there's a couple of Proverbs here that have really vivid imagery. And again, they point to us valuing wisdom as opposed to being foolish. And one of the most vivid images that really caught my attention is from verse 12, where it states, It's better to meet a bear robbed of her cubs than a fool in his folly. Now, as someone who hikes often in bear territory, that got my attention. Yikes. Uh, it doesn't take much to recognize the danger of a bear. And, and, uh, and yet we don't often. And that's where I think Proverbs is often helpful. We think, oh, this is obvious. Avoid a bear who has lost her cubs. And yet we don't. Uh, I go to, I watch an Instagram site, and this Instagram site is called Tourons of Yellowstone. And a Touron is someone who is a tourist, tour, and a moron. Tourist, morons, Tourons of Yellowstone. And they're constantly approaching too close to the wild animals of Yellowstone, putting themselves in dangerous positions, putting the animals themselves in dangerous positions. And it's foolishness. That's what the site is saying. Like, this is foolish. It's not wise. And well, that leads to the question, what about our approach to fools and to stubbornness? Do you recognize the danger of being around someone who's being foolish? Now, I have loved seeing bears many times. Uh, they're amazing to see in the wild. But I have a healthy and profound respect for the danger of a bear. And so when I see a bear in the wild, I'm very careful about it. The question I'm asking myself today and the question I would ask you today is, how do I live that way with people who are foolish and who are stubborn? You can't entirely avoid them. You're going to see bears if you're hiking in bear territory. But how do you approach them wisely and safely so that they don't cause harm to you or to the other person? How do you engage but not get impacted? You see, wisdom is thinking through our approach. And it's having a plan for relationships that are healthy. God's grace and peace be with you.